bitch grinder stand and I paid $62 for that with the 10% off promo code at Harbor Freight Tool then we went to Lowe's and we got this right here for 79 bucks then I paid $14 for the two-year warranty that put me at a hundred and seventy-eight cent. And this is our setup today, guys. We got our little stand going on. And I wanted to show you guys these blades and how badly damaged they are. As you can see, that's a close-up. That's a big nick right there. And that one back there is the same way. It's just not even a no sharpness to it. And we're going to try to sharpen it with our bench grinder. And these are the 18 inch gator blade. Gator blades. And as you can see. From the side. They don't have no kind of sharpness to them. So we're about to start try to sharpen them up. With our grinder. We got from Lowe's. Right here is the fine start. side. And this side right here is a little bit rougher. And this thing right here is pretty heavy duty. It's pretty, it's pretty heavy. I feel like it weighs about six, about 50 or 60 pounds. Might be a little bit less than that. And this is, this is pretty heavy too. That's our blade. You see how bad that is? No kind of sharpness at all. This is the other side. And let's see if we can get this baby sharpened. Here we go. We're going to crank it on. Just a little on switch right here. And we're going to start with the... Now let's go to this side. going these were badly badly damaged Keep going. We gotta do the back side also. Let's see if we can come around here.
got something going. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot better. I wish you guys can see that. That's a lot better. Than what it was. That's almost sharp, you guys. We're gonna keep on going. So we've been doing this for about five minutes, and you can see that it's back. It's getting back sharp right here. This side. Then I gotta come around, and you see that right there. That's a big nick. I'm just gonna keep that in there, but make it sharp. And you see how we looked before. Let me show you the other side what I'm working on. And you can see that edge coming back. As you can see, guys, it's getting better and better. We're still working on it. But as you can see, the edge coming back. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to weigh them. You see that it's getting sharper and sharper. I can feel it getting sharper right there. But you don't want to have them sharp, sharp. You just want to have them, you know, sharp enough. And I've just been going back and forth. I hit that back side a little bit too. But these were badly damaged. These are not your regular. I took these through rocks, big branches, and all kind of stuff. And this, this ground is working pretty good. It just takes a while. You got to sit here for a while. And so we're just going to keep on going. Work it. And this is how you see if your, if your blade is balanced. I'm gonna stick it right there. And as you can see, the blade is kind of like leaning down. So that means that that right side over there is lighter than that side. So whatever you take off on this side, you gotta take off on that side also. So when you get done, you want that blade to be sitting like this. So the weight will be even, but we're still working. And these blades were really badly damaged, but we're still working it, guys. Put your screw on the wall, and that how you can see if you're, because if you don't do that, then your lawnmower is gonna be shaking like this one. I haven't, well, I haven't touched this one yet. And when I stick it on this wall right here, that one is a little bit more balanced than the one I'm working on right now. So you want it to be balanced, guys. We're still going. I don't want to make it too sharp, like a knife. <laughs> but that's what it looked like I'm coming out to. But I've been doing this for about five minutes straight. That's just on this side right here. And we're going to even, we're still going. We hitting this side because it's supposed to be, you know, this is where the edge is. And we've been hitting this back side because the, the, the blade is so damaged that we got to hit some on this side and some on this side. So I'm going to keep on going, guys. Thanks, YouTubers. I love and give me a thumbs up on the video. This is my first time sharpening blades. I had to put that in there too. <laughs> That's almost 
Ooh. I don't want them to be either too sharp, but it, it looked like I need to hit this side a little bit. So I'm gonna hold it. Pretty neat, guys. It's almost where it was when I first bought it. Oh, and this is hot. Yeah, I gotta watch out for that too. <laughs> Don't forget your glove and your eye protection. This is this side is a little bit. Oh, is that side even? Okay. I couldn't even see that moving. So it looks like we need to hit. Can you guys see that? Now we're going to start working on this side. You see how damaged that is? It's like almost rounded off right there. We're going to try to get this side like this. And we're going to try to get it weighed out. Crack air back up. See that little nick right there? <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in there because I will have to do a lot of fouling. But as you can see, guys, this is working pretty good. And the Porter cable bench grinder is working pretty good. Look at that, guys. They're shining this. This is the side I already did. Ooh, that is hot. Very hot. Duh. Okay.
reason why I'm doing this is because these blades can get expensive and this is just a little hobby I'm just doing just the this was my first time sharpening these blades like this so I think I'm doing pretty good for the first time and that's this side right here because uh, these blades I think I paid um, 70 or 80 for three sets or something like that and you know you're gonna be hitting rocks and all kind of stuff so it's good to learn how to sharpen your blades and if I get these good enough I might put these back on I'm just gonna take my time I've been eyeballing this and when you're doing blades this badly damaged you gotta kind of eyeball it and you know get them sharp as you can but that is I would say that's excellent that's excellent for what I'm doing with these how bad these blades were I'm just gonna eyeball it sharp right there. I think I can reuse these again. We're going to do the weight test again. I think that's pretty much it you guys. That's all I'm going to do to this one. Here you guys, the blades. I didn't want to get them this sharp, but I'm going to show you how sharp I got them. This little piece of paper right here. As you can see, it's cutting paper. <laughs> I don't know that they shouldn't be that sharp, but I can deal with that, you guys. Can you guys see that? better than buying blades and it's a little a nice little workout for you as you can see how sharp that is now if you take them and hold them like this you can really see the sharpness of it the sharpness to it and I'm gonna start the other one yeah guys this is the end result as you can see I got the nail in the wall and you see how the blade is balanced I'm going to sharpen both sides and I'm going to do a little the weight is even now and uh, we're going to let you see how this sharpness looks right here how it looks on the back pretty sharp the other side pretty sharp sharp enough to cut some paper and this is the other one right here as you can see yeah and I say this I would say this grinder is a pretty good grinder just like I said we got it from um, Lowe's for a uh, hundred and seventy eight cent because I bought the two-year warranty for 14 
97. And, uh, and thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe.